Hi, my dear friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's time to do February bullet journal plan with me. This month, I have a trip planned to visit my best friend in New York City, so I decided to make travel as my February bullet journal theme. On the cover page, I'm going to draw things that I usually bring with me when I get on the airplane. And unlike regular doodle idea that all elements are the same size, here I try to draw everything in scale. So here we have map, hat, sunscreen, and headset. Sometimes earphone will be good enough for me since I'm not a super music person. And because I usually sleep on the airplane, I cover is such an important piece for me. I usually will also carry a small suitcase and of course don't forget about the luggage tag. I also draw a postcard here because I just love sending it back to myself. Please tell me I'm not alone. And of course, Polaroid camera. I like to save memory in actual printed photos instead of just laying in my phone. I will also have to carry a passport since I don't have driver's license while well, I'm working on it. And you should pillow is another important piece to sleep on the airplane. Finally, I have to fit everything into my bag. On the left page, I originally wanted to make a quote page, like, you know, I follow my heart and my heart leads me to the airport. But then I saw since I have all the things I bring onto the airplane with me, why not just draw a window like I'm sitting right next to it? Even though I sit next to the wind so many times, I still have to do a little bit of research on how to draw it. I think I did a good job. Okay, time to color them. This time I'm still going to use watercolor so I can have a variety of different shades of each color. For the main colors, I chose pink, brown, and maybe a little bit orange. I try to spread the same color onto different items that are not right next to each other and also try to draw them with light and shade surface to make them more like 3D instead of 2D. You can choose whatever pen you like to color as long as it works fine for you. I personally prefer to use watercolor but in bullet journal I may take a little bit more time cause you have to color it layer by layer and wait for it to get dry. I also like to use a thicker pen to highlight the outline to make them pop out a little bit more. If you're not satisfied with the doodle on this page and want to see more, I also uploaded another video of travel doodle. Please check the link on the right up corner. So start from this month, I decided to do a series of doodle with me to match each month's theme. I'll share with you more cute doodles besides the one I put in here. And I'll be so happy if it can be helpful or inspiring for you. Let's get back to the left page and also color the view outside of the window. Since the theme color are pink and brown, I decided to mainly use pink to color the sky. So I randomly leave some white space to represent the clowns and then define the outline with slightly darker pink. And then I also highlight the wing and the window's outer line with a thicker pen. I'm happy how the cover page turned out and I can already imagine myself on the airplane to New York City. Okay, for the monthly view page, I decided to do something different. I'm going to draw a world map on paper, and it has to be the old style that you can fold it into a small square. I'm sure you know what I mean if you ever bought a tour map. Or if you're too young to even use one, never mind then, Google just makes our life so much easier. On the left side, I also put my YouTube and Instagram tracker. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, here's my account. So for the map, I want the folding mark to be natural, so I use a thinner pen to draw the line, not continually and not evenly. And for the words that I put on, also has to be rotated to match the angle of the surface. I choose brown color to give it an old map feeling. Here, I assume the light comes from the left, so I color the other side of each fold first. It also reminds me where to color darker for the continent later. And then I start to paint based on the outline I drew roughly. I also color the folding mark to make it look more natural instead of stiff. While I'm waiting for it to get dry, let's color the rest of the page. Since there are too much brown, I also want to add some pink tone in. Okay, now the map is dry enough, I can color the second layer, but only on the darker side and then give it a shadow to make it look like it's actually laying on the table. A very important final step is to highlight the outline of everything. 
when I write down the numbers, I also pay attention and match the angle with the map to make it look more real. Then highlight the folding mark to make it more unevenly distributed. So yeah, the monthly page is done and I like it. The next page is Habit Tracker and Sleeping Tracker. I'm going to draw a lot of suitcases on this one. Let's get started. So based on what I learned from the previous page, I decided to use thicker pen to draw the outline directly and then draw the detail in later. It makes the work more efficient because I don't have to repeat the line work at the end again. The one on the right bottom corner may look a little bit weird, but I'll show you how it works very soon. For the detail of each suitcase, I use a thinner pen and try to make them all different. There are some elements you can use like corner protection, suitcase belt, open suitcase with metal joint in the middle, and regular open button, number lock, corner protection with dash line. Anyway, all those details can make your drawing more vivid and interesting. As for my sleep lock, I use the belt as time access and 8pm that I set for myself to get up just happens to be perfectly located in the middle, so I decided to draw it in. Then let's write down the name of this page. I just love this month stamp, except they are all designed to have 31 days, so I have to either wipe the extra date before stamping it or erase after. My wild gel pen ran out and I haven't bought a new one yet, so here I have to use this fixing tape to cover the extra two days, and then fix the line work that got covered by accident. Here I only put 7 habit trackers in, but if you organize the space well, you can fit more if you want. I'm going to use brown as the main color for this page too, but with slightly different shades to give it a variety, and then also add some pink tone in it. Let's move on to Mood Tracker. I know Polar Rod is no new for this page and a lot of people did similar style already, but I think about it and I realized for me there is no other chance to actually use these elements in my bullet journal so I decided to go with it. Again I draw the outer line with thicker pen and the inside line work with thinner pen. In this way the picture looks more cute, don't you think so? For coloring this camera, I tried to make it as close to the reality as possible, so I decided to draw the rainbow on it. For the mood color selection, I decided to go with the theme color and pick different shades of pink and brown. Don't forget to also make the outer line work thicker to match the whole page style. The next page expense tracker. People found it not that useful or necessary, and honestly, I start to feel the same way. Probably because I didn't spend that much last month. But for this month, since I'm going on a trip, I know I'll use this page a lot. So hopefully, I leave enough space on the tracker. I also draw a small umbrella and chair just to have some vacation atmosphere. The next brain down page. I like the idea of using suitcase, cause when you write down things, it actually feels like you're dumping stuff from your brain into a container. Does it make sense for you? Anyway, uh, again, I draw the outer line first and then start to fill in the detail with a thinner pen. But at the end, I think it's not pop up enough, so I did it one more time. On the right side, I'm doing an Instagram tracker. Even though this month has only 29 days, I still draw 30 bucks just to make it look good. Each box I'm using is 3x3 if it's helpful for you. And then I continue to use brown for the suitcase. The color looks uneven with watercolor paint, but I actually like it. It feels like a really old one that my grand grandma gave to my grandma and my grandma gave to my mom and finally my mom gave it to me. I also give some pink tone for the both sides to make them not that boring. And then after painting the pink inside material, I think the suitcase color is not dark enough so I decide to do it one more layer and that's how it looks like. Now it's time to do the first weekly spread. For the first week, I'm going to do a dodge door. After cutting the extra part, I also use the wrong corner cutter to make the edge less sharp. 
Since I'm doing a travel theme for this month, the first idea I have is landmark around the world. I haven't been to all the places I'm going to draw on this page, but I used to have this dream called traveling all around the world. As I grow older and older, I start to face the real life and Traveling becomes something that is not that easy, especially when you have only 14 days of PTO from work, and you also have to save them for visiting families. Anyway, can you still remember what the answer was when you were asked, what's your dream when you were like six? I truly hope that you, my dear friends who are watching this video right now, still remember what your dream is and never give up. Okay, let's get back to our bullet journal. Can you recognize all the landmarks I'm drawing? Some of them are the places I went to before, some are the places I want to go. Leave comments below if you're from one of those cities, maybe we can meet one day, you never know. And now I'm drawing these 9 by 20 boxes, if the number helps. On the side, I'm adding a paper plan doodle with dash line showing the flat path. You have a lot of freedom to draw the path however you want. And for the middle page, I'm adding same paper plan to match the dash line on the next page. So I draw a same size of paper plan and then cut it off, then glue on it in the same position. On the back of the middle page, I'm doing a packing list since my flight to New York is the next week. So if you guys are interested in landmark doodle, please let me know. I can make another video about it, cause here I only choose 9 to draw, but I want to share more if you want. For coloring this page, I think I made some mistakes. I was going to make it real carol and free with the color, just don't follow the exact shape of the buildings, but it doesn't turn out as good as I expected, so I can only comfort myself saying this is abstract art that won't follow rules. Anyway, I'm okay trying new things and fail, just know next time I won't do it again and probably do it in a different way. So yeah, this is my first week spread. Wait, don't click X and leave yet. I also have the rest three weeks weekly spread in this video. And each page I'm trying something new, so stay with me if you're interested. This is the week I'm going to visit my friend in New York, so I decided to draw something that can represent the city. Have I mentioned that I graduated from architecture school? Anyway, I really enjoy the drawing process. But remember, you can do your bullet journal however you like. It doesn't have to be pretty or with a bunch of drawing in it. I know on YouTube, people are doing it so pretty, but the key is to let it help your life. You can always start it with just one black pen. For me personally, I combine it with my memory or my hobby, so I like to draw things in it. But you know, if you're a beginner for drawing, this could be also your sketchbook or practice book. It's always good to try. Sometimes I'm also worried that what if people think I'm not good enough and still show my stuff online, but I just tell myself that this is a way to record me grow and improve. In the same time, I want to help people with my skill and knowledge. I'm so happy when you guys leave comments saying this is helpful or inspiring for you. Okay, let's get back to this weekly spread. Since I want to keep it as my memory page, I don't want to color it to match the same color. Plus, it will be so weird to see statues of liberty being either pink or brown, right? So the next page, I'm going back to polar idea because again, this is probably the only chance for me to use this element in my spread. After hard work on this previous page, I feel so relaxed on this one. And it turns out pretty clean and neat, so I like it. To match the theme color, I'm using brown again to do the shadow and highlight Monday to Sunday with pink. And of course, I'm going to use pink on the camera. Let's continue to week 9. This week, I'm also doing something simple, which is city skyline. Probably because I started urban design for my master, I'm more sensitive about those elements. But I think you can easily guess what city they are, right? Please let me know if you want to know the answer and I'll respond in the comments. 
So yeah, this is my February bullet journal setup. I really enjoy making it. I hope this video can be helpful or inspiring for you. Please leave comments below if you have any questions. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell so you can get notification once I update new video. I also do watercolor in my channel. You're very welcome to check it out. For more updates, you can follow me on Instagram too. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing February.